वेलकम ऑन एम जी एस एस यूट्यूब चैनल आई नवकांत मिश्रा विथ यू टू डिस्कस चैप्टर टेन ट्राइंगल एंड इट्स कैन दीज थ्री पॉइंट ए बी एंड सी एंड यू कैन जस्ट सी दैट इफ यू ड्रॉ विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्केल बाय पासिंग दीज थ्री नॉन कोलिनियर पॉइंट्स दैट आई हैव जस्ट मैंसन दैट एंड यू कैन जस्ट सी दैट three lines i have just drawn and three are uh, different lines pass through our uh, first line uh, pass through ab second one bc and third one is ac and the figure that is completed uh, actually this is a triangle and you can just see that this is a triangle it can also be defined by another way that is simple closed figure simple closed figure which is bounded by three line segment is known as triangle and you know that three line segments are ab bc and ca and these three line segments are uh, actually side of side of uh, this triangle and also you have already learned in previous standard because in previous standard and also in previous chapter uh, regarding polygon this is also the first member of polygon so you can define a definition of triangle a simple closed figure which is bounded by three line segment then it is known as triangle it can also be uh, defined by the the first member of polygon is known as triangle or you may say that the polygon which is surrounded by or bounded by three line segment then it is known as triangle and i made you clear that this triangle is made up of three straight line segment and this is why it is a study under a ah, rectilinear figures because two types of figure that you know very well that one is rectilinear figure such such figure which is made up of straight line segments and my dear you can just see that three straight line segments are ab bc and ca in case of and in case of closed curve closed figure you know very well that this cannot be made up of straight line segment so second type of the figure is curve figure this is also closed but it is not curve so uh, you have to just quickly remind that triangle is a polygon first member of the polygon triangle is uh a type of simple closed figure triangle is bounded by three line segments these line segments are known as sides of triangle and uh, you can just see that some more information a triangle is not only bounded by three line segment but also you can just see that triangle has three vertices uh this abc vertex a vertex b and vertex c and what is the vertex of a triangle and the point where two line segments or two sides of the triangles meet is known as a vertex of the triangle so when you discuss about the vertex a is the vertex why because two side meet at a uh, meet at a and you can just see that at a which side meets actually uh, ab and ac meet at a so sometimes it is also known as meeting point of uh, two side is known as vertex of the triangle so a is the meeting point of two sides ab and ac b is also the meeting point of two sides ab and bc so it is known as another vertex and the third vertex is c because bc and ac meet at c 
so a triangle has three sides and uh, you just know that ab bc and ca and uh, uh, a triangle has three vertices i have just discussed regarding vertices and you know that three vertices are first vertex is a second is b and third is c three uh, angles are angle you know very well that when two side meet at a point then vertex is uh, then uh, angles are formed and you know that here two sides meet at a and you can just see that ab and ac meet at the vertex a and this is why it is known as known as angle so uh, it has three angles angle a second angle is b because here uh, ab and bc meet at b so second angle is b and third angle is c my dear one thing also you know very well that angle a can be written as angle a can be written as the angle which is for must occupy in the middle of and this is why you can just write down b a c angle b a c or you can just write down c a b angle c a b my dear in case of angle b you may write a b c angle a b c or it can be written as written as c b a c b a actually with the help of uh, its adjacent uh, vertex you can just write down the name the angle uh, is formed at the b and its adjacent vertex uh, is a and c because a b and b c are two adjacent vertices of b so with the help of adjacent vertices you have to write down the another a uh, name of angle b similarly you can just see in the case of uh, angle c angle c uh, you know that can be written as with the help of its adjacent vertices and what are adjacent vertices uh, the adjacent vertices of c is a and c is b so it can be written as angle a c b and second name of this angle is angle b c a my dear so you have just uh, understood a triangle has three side three vertices and three angles and also you know very well that sum of angle sum property you know very well that sum of all angles of a triangle angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree this is known as angle sum property uh, of a triangle hope uh, you have to enjoy this session and uh, in the next